we're talking about the uh, web client download file async uh, method today and it takes two parameters a URL and a local file name in order to uh, test this we have a form that has a button on it that says download file and a label that says progress actually the label that says progress won't come into play until like the last half of this video so if we double click on the download file button we get into the download file event handler and the first thing we want is a uh, save file dialog uh, to uh, ask the user for a file name which is the file name the file is going to get downloaded into so I'll just uh, type one in in a uh, uh, pause mode as you can see this is just a standard instantiation of a save file dialog I call SFD and then we have an if statement that checks the return value of the save file dialog to make sure it's okay and the users actually selected a file and a file name and I load the file name into a local string called name and the next thing we want to do is instantiate the uh, web client object but in order to do that we're going to need the namespace of uh, system oh, dot net and then instantiate the web client in the usual way and the call itself is wc dot download file async and it takes two parameters a URI which is the same as a URL and the file name and for the file name we're going to use the file name that uh, the user selected to have the file downloaded in and uh, for the initial URL we'll use the same URL we used in the previous uh, example which is my website in a subdirectory called test test and a file called wolfman so we need to specify a new uh, URI and then put parentheses around the name I have it in the clipboard actually so I just need to unpaste it, do a control V and then for the download to name we just use the string name that we got from the save file dialog and if we save this and run it we click the download file button and we come up with the save file dialog and might as well go to uh, a directory I created for this process called Doug I've already done some testing with it and let's say call the uh, file name uh, wm.text and say oh, save and it's pretty much already over there because it's just a four line file if we go back into Internet Explorer and look at the WM file that just got created you see it has all the text that was in the original file so this is like a total hassle free uh, <laughs> uh, method unlike the previous one we were working with but something we need to understand at this point and I created these very artistic diagrams to show it is what's meant by the async part of the download file async normally in most methods we've looked at so far 
uh, the mainline processing goes along like this black line here and then on the in the oval at the top and then we call a function and we go along the blue line and while we're along the blue line all mainline processing is stopped because it's what's called synchronous processing and when the blue line finishes and we in other words when we come back from the method call then the mainline processing starts again and we're on the black line again but with asynchronous processing which usually involves uh, objects called uh, threads or processes or tasks the uh, you're going along with the mainline processing as you are on this bottom line and then you spawn the uh, the thread in the case of uh, download file async it's a thread I'm reasonably sure mainly because a thread runs in the same process space as a uh, as the other threads like the mainline thread so it can access global things like the the label that we're going to in a minute and while the blue line is running the main line continues running so you have two things running in parallel and you actually have no idea when the blue line finishes running so the black line runs along totally oblivious of what the blue line is doing so what we need is synchronization type functions that say the blue line is progress so far which is the download progress changed event and then another event that says the blue line is finished so the files completed loading which is the download file completed event and I've already done a couple videos on delegates and events uh, which are really a fascinating area so you might want to go back and review those if this is somewhat uh, confusing but the way you add an event is like for the uh, hmm. for some reason the typing wasn't picking up the um, download file completed event you do a plus equals which actually creates a delegate that is assigned to uh, to this uh, collection of event handlers and there's a shortcut way of doing this and just press the tab key twice so if I press tab and then another tab it initially creates an asynchronous complete event handler and assigns it the name uh, WC download file completed and then it creates the download file completed uh, event handler which is added to the string of uh, events or delegates really and uh, uh, right now it just throws an error that says it's not implemented but what we want to do is change this to a message box that says uh, actually I can use a shortcut for this too just go M box tab tab and then say uh, uh, file download completed and if we compile and run this we're still using extremely short files so this is going to pop up more or less instantly do download again and call it this time wolfman2 say and do a save and you see the message box pops up almost instantly because we've only got a few bytes we're downloading so to really appreciate this asynchronous processing what we need is to use a really large file and I created a large file just for this purpose and I'll change the uh, URL here name of the large file is bigfile-text 
and in order to really see how long this is taking we'll add another uh, event handler another event called WC dot download progress changed and I'll do a plus equal to add it to the, the delegates and uh, once again do a tab tab and this time uh, have a message box I'll just copy this message box get rid of this extra semicolon actually we don't want a message box what we want to do is uh, update the label lbl download progress dot text and set that equal to uh, the word progress concatenated with the uh, E progress percentage actually we'll need to change that to two string and if we save and run this call this one big guy four say you'll notice the progress shows a percentage of progress done and this is a 5 meg file so it took virtually no time and then when it finishes it pops up our other event handler which says file download complete well I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, tutorial and learned a lot and don't forget to subscribe